How do I know when my first trimester is over? By looking at a calendar. I don't get it. The first trimester ends at 12 weeks after conception, so conception date plus 12 weeks equals the end of the first trimester. I do not know exactly when that was. So use the date of the end of your last period. Many doctors do. I may have had spotting mistaken for a menstrual cycle, so I cannot use that measurement. Then enter your likely conception date in one of on those online pregnancy calendars. The first trimester is over when it stops saying this and that organ formed and says instead your kid is as big as this type of fruit. I know you get morning sickness to protect your baby from everything dangerous. You actually need the iron in the steak, but yes, women tend to suffer from morning sickness in the first trimester to protect the fetus from potential hazards. As if the sight of meat making me throw up is more dangerous than getting food poisoning from undercooked meat and throwing up. You cannot use morning sickness as a measure of pregnancy progression though. Some women do not get morning sickness, while others have it throughout the pregnancy. I'd rather be in the former group than the latter. However, for most women with a nausea or vomiting, it is over by the end of the first trimester. May that be my worst case scenario. Talk to the doctor to get a sonogram. The doctor can measure the baby from crown to rump and say how far along you are. Why not head to toe? The feet are floating out in front of the body or curled up against it, whereas the butt is an easy target to find and measure. And the body size indicates how far along the kid is. But I do not know the conception date, and I do not know whether the baby's development is normal. The kid will only be underweight if you've starved yourself or suffer from a disease that hinders development. And if that were the case, you'd be at the doctor for that instead of the pregnancy. So a sonogram will say how far along I am. Whether you have a 6-pounder or 10-pounder at birth, all the kids are the same number of ounces at X weeks unless something is really wrong. I'm trying to do everything right. Then get a sonogram to get the answer as to how far along you are.